Hello, Paul here, and I wanna show you how you can effectively put an image inside of text. Now, there's actually many ways of doing this. Uh, in fact, what some people do is like, I have this text here, they might select that text and then go to the layer that they want to mask out and then they'll add a layer mask just like that and sure i can move that content around if i unlock it but the fact is i can't edit this text because it's now a mask so that's what you don't want to do i want to introduce you to a new way which is why i'm undoing that content quite frankly here's my text i want to bring that beneath the photo and there's my photo on top of it and i want to create a clipping mask so if i shift select both of those right click create clipping mask or what i actually like to do is just hold down the option key or alt key click done and done this is still move this around my text right here this is editable so if i want to jump in decide we want to be more specific for breckenridge since it's not too far away i can add that you get the idea move that down maybe put an image in the background to create sort of a nice sort of ad like i'm doing right now all right and even going beyond that keep in mind that any changes that you make or any effects that you add is actually going to affect the photo so if i jump in here and just pick a layer style for instance and again just picking one at random it actually applies these layer styles to, of course, the text, but also to the photo. So consider it one element, all right? Even to the point where if I wanted to export this out, I can export it. Remember, I have that text layer selected. It gives me exactly what I expect, a full composite of that, uh, that image with the text. So I hope this was helpful. Remember, you want to use clipping masks any chance you get for various items because it's going to give you all that flexibility that you need. Thanks so much for watching.